eight aging habits that are significantly causing accelerated aging in your skin, what you can change, what you can correct to help ensure that you have a lifetime of healthy lifestyle habits that will have a profound effect on your skin long term. How you can correct and protect your skin and reverse the hands of time and reverse the aging process and decrease the accentuated aging process that can happen when our skin encounters environmental toxins, environmental pollutants, and daily lifestyle habits that could be significantly accelerating the aging process in your skin. The most accelerated aging process that you can induce in your skin is ultraviolet light. Now, I'm a dermatologist and I've lived on the beach my entire life. I was a surfer growing up. I loved going to the beach, but I always photo protected myself. And even now in my late forties, you know, I live on the beach. My son's a competitive surfer. My daughter surfs too. You know, I'm in the, in the sun a lot, you know, watching them surf and, you know, playing beach volleyball and just being active outside. But I've always maintained, um, you know, photo protection and protecting my skin with sunscreen, regular sunscreen use, even day or rain or shine, even on cold winter days, I wear sunscreen. I wear it on the backs of my hands, on my neck and the, my chest. And I had a mom who was really great. Thanks mom for watching this, for um, introducing me to photo protection back in the day. I remember when we would go to Hawaii, we had a place there and would go one month out of the year, every year. And she wouldn't let me play out on the ocean between, or before 10 o'clock. She would only let me play in the ocean or on the beach before 10 a.m. or after like 4 p.m. So when all the kids were coming in, I was going out. But that really taught me the importance of photo protection and sunscreen. So you, you can definitely live a life in the sun. I've been on the beach in the sun my whole life, but you just have to be smart about it. You wanna live your life right now. We're in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. We're by the pool, we're in the jacuzzi, we're running around on the beach and we're having a beautiful vacation outdoors and in the sun. But I'm being very diligent about my photo protection and then also doing laser resurfacing treatments to help reverse any sun damage that will potentially lead to skin cancer later on if I don't do the lasers. And then also lasers make your skin look healthy and beautiful without the need for makeup. So it's a win-win. So the most important way to reverse photo damage is to protect yourself with sunscreen and then also do laser resurfacing regularly to reverse those changes. So laser resurfacing has been shown to decrease skin cancer by 50%, as well as actinic keratosis, which are pre-cancers by 50% as well. So it's a win-win. If you don't do lasers to do it for cosmetic reasons, to have beautiful, you know, tight, healthy, firm, flawless skin, do it for your overall skin health. But UV light and UV damage from UVA1 and UVA2 rays is the most, the most powerful way to accelerate aging. So protecting yourself against it is really imperative for overall skin health. And as I'm walking back, I know that people are gonna ask me about vitamin D, right? Okay, so vitamin D, of course I have to worry about my vitamin D levels and I get them checked um, every six months. I take a vitamin D 3K2 supplement and that really helps and has elevated my vitamin D levels. So, you know, you get enough sunshine to convert vitamin to act the active vitamin D form in your body for the health benefits by just having a small amount of sunshine hit your leg, walking to the car in the parking lot out of a building. That's what one of my attendings at UCLA said when I was a resident and that really like stuck with me. So you don't need a lot of sunshine to induce um, the active forms of vitamin D in the body. Also, you can supplement and I take a vitamin D D3K2 every day and my vitamin D levels are within normal range, actually on the higher end of normal range, um, despite my overactive photo protection. Okay, you guys, number two, a second habit that we all have that can lead to premature aging and breakdown of our collagen, and that is diet. Having a high glycemic index food in your diet and eating processed foods can help, um, they can accelerate collagen breakdown. So collagen breakdown sometimes can be um, occurring from a process of glycation when your collagen fibers, which are the extracellular matrix proteins in your skin, get broken down because they become glycated. When you have high sugar levels in your blood flow and in your circulation and in the body, it glycates the collagen fibers and it accelerates their breakdown. So collagen breakdown happens from other things as well, including UV damage, environmental toxins that we can encounter in our skin day to day, and also uh, many other factors, but diet is really, really important. So although um, gluten containing foods for many of us and also um, milk-based products can um, accelerate inflammatory dermatoses like acne and psoriasis, atopic dermatitis, and seborrheic dermatitis, eating um, a low glycemic index diet eating green leafy vegetables, antioxidant rich containing fruits and vegetables is really important and impactful over a lifetime to help maintaining healthy collagen. Because a loss of collagen is what causes 
fine lines, wrinkles, volume loss, weathered, laxed skin, stretched out pores, accentuated asymmetry if you're born with asymmetry, which most of us are, and many other um, sequela as well. Okay, you guys, so number three, not working out. That is the fastest way to accelerate aging. Working out has so many immense skin benefits. Just to start, it increases blood flow and circulation, which provides the skin cells, the carotinocytes, which are the actual skin cells, and also the melanocytes, which are the pigment-producing cells, the fibroblasts, which are the collagen-producing cells, your immune cells that circulate through your skin. All the skin cellular functions are optimized with increased blood flow. It's carrying oxygen to the skin cells, and it's also removing toxins and impurities from the skin as well. So when you upregulate the vasodilation, which is the increased blood vessel um, dilation, which provides more blood flow to the surface of the skin, it just provides your skin with much more nutrients and oxygen and just detoxifies the skin as well. So when you increase circulation, it helps achieve beautiful, viable, healthy, glowing, vibrant skin. Now, a lot of people will ask, well, rosacea is a pathology in dermatology where you have too much blood flow to the skin. That's different than increasing circulation to the skin. Rosacea is a disease of vasospasticity and vasoactivity of the blood vessels supplying the cutaneous um, surface layers of the skin and can easily be treated with a V-beam laser to kind of help ablate and retract those blood vessels that are aberrant or are pathologic and not functioning optimally. But for overall skin health and, and you know a healthy individual who does not have rosacea, even if you do have rosacea, um, the skin benefits from exercise are immense and well studied. So in addition to increasing nutrients and blood flow and circulation to the skin, removing impurities and detoxifying the skin, exercise also allows for better sleep and decreasing cortisol levels. When you decrease cortisol levels, you decrease the rate at which the extracellular matrix proteins, meaning collagen and elastin, get broken down. So decreasing cortisol levels can decrease the aging process and are decreased by increased exercise. Also, leaning out with more muscle mass and having um, strength training and lifting can help with increasing your lean body muscle mass, which also has been shown to increase uh, metabolism, decrease stress, decrease oxidative stress, and decrease cortisol levels. So overall, pound for pound, working out is highly beneficial to the skin. Okay, another bad habit is over exfoliating the skin. Although it's recommended to wash your skin twice a day, hopefully, you know, a double or triple cleanse will not be needed, but if it is, hopefully you're not over exfoliating your skin. So stick with a gentle, either mechanical or chemical exfoliator that's going to help to breathe that dead stratum corneum layer off the skin, which is the dead skin cells that lay on top of the skin. That will stimulate your skin cells to repopulate and renew themselves faster, but that's not going to disrupt the skin barrier or cause increased irritation irritation or redness or kind of a, you know a uncomfortable kind of dry peely itchy feeling of the skin so everyone's different and everyone's skin may differ with respect to the amount of exfoliation they can tolerate and that has to do with a lot of you know extrinsic factors like your environmental um, environment you know environmental stressors if you're in an arid or um, high altitude climate the skin's going to be more prone to irritation from over exfoliation if you're in a very hot humid climate like the tropics or in Hawaii or in Mexico you may want to do a little bit more exfoliation and di different times of the year may um, you know um, may make your skin more tolerable to exfoliation or over exfoliation also your fluid status your hydration status how um, hydrated are your skin cells how much water are you drinking? So that can change with the year, with your diet, with your overall health and different status in your body. So over exfoliating can lead to irritation. It could lead to increased potency of the active ingredients that your skin's usually used to. So just getting an exfoliated, exfoliated cleanser or polish like the MDR Cloud Polish is a very gentle, fragrance-free, dye-free exfoliant that you can actually use every day, or at least I can use every day or even twice a day without over exfoliating my skin. But some of the more granular, harsher exfoliants or ones that have AHAs or BHAs in them, you may wanna just do twice a week or three times a week or even less than that, depending on your skin status with all the other extrinsic factors that you have to take into consideration. But over exfoliation is one of the quickest ways to tear up your skin and to ruin your skin. So be careful not to over exfoliate. Cleansing your skin twice a day is great. Over exfoliation is not. 
Okay, you guys, next lifestyle habit that is accelerating aging, and that is drinking alcohol. I know you guys don't wanna hear it. We're actually doing a clean 2025 where we're not drinking any alcohol at all. Remember, alcohol is a toxin, and yes, you wanna have fun with your friends and you wanna live life, but just be smart about it because alcohol dehydrates the skin. It impairs the skin barrier function. It impairs the skin's ability to hold onto water so that you lose that plump vitality, you lose that elasticity in your skin, I'm trying to get ready for work while I'm vlogging this, otherwise I'll never get this content out to you guys. Um, it, it depletes your skin barrier, so you get more transepidermal water loss and the skin cells basically get dehydrated. The keratinocytes, which are like plump little grapes, get dehydrated and depleted of moisture, so they become raisins, and that's exactly what happens to the skin too. You'll get fine lines, wrinkles, accentuated, Acne scars, if you have existing acne scars, they'll look worse. If you have large pores, they'll worsen the large pore appearance and your skin will look depleted and dehydrated instead of plump and juicy and bouncy and full of hydration and water. So alcohol dehydrates the skin not only by increasing transepidermal water loss and not allowing those keratinocytes to hold on to water because the barrier is impaired, but also it increases inflammation, which disrupts collagen and elastin synthesis, and it also disrupts your sleep cycle. So as you're sleeping, you're not producing as much collagen and elastin as you would otherwise. It can increase cortisol levels, which can be really deleterious to overall skin turnover and function and synthesis of extracellular matrix proteins. And then also, um, when you are drinking alcohol, it can you know, be pro-inflammatory, which is never good for the skin because inflammation causes premature aging. So if you are gonna drink, just be smart about it. For every alcoholic beverage that you ingest, you should counteract it with a glass of water. Lower sugar alcoholic beverages are always a better option. And then also for every one alcoholic beverage you drink, if you can drink an equivocal or a larger glass of water with every one drink, like a one-to-one -one ratio, that will help as well. And then try to drink like our electrolyte rich um, supplements or foods. You know, I know that there's like liquid IV and a lot of people don't like that one, but there's a lot of other alternative electrolyte infused um, supplements you can take while you're drinking alcohol. But the best thing is to just not drink alcohol at all. And I'm actually doing that as well, um, you know, with my significant other, and it's been just an amazing experience. So, there's a lot of um, other like non-alcoholic um, beverages you can drink. Like there's one called, again, I'm not sponsored. I don't take any paid partnerships. These are just drinks that um, a lot of my friends who are in the industry and in nutritional, um, you know, the nutritional and supplement industry have recommended like New Brew. There's like Kava and different like electrolyte um, infused and probiotic infused non-alcoholic beverages. So you feel, you feel like you're still social, they're bubbly, you can put like a lime in it and act like you're drinking alcohol when you're really not, but it'll be better for your skin and your overall health, especially over the age of 40. It's really, really important to keep that in mind. Um, and that's my best advice, but just avoiding as much alcohol as possible um, for anti-aging benefits is really key as well. Sorry to break that news to you guys. Also, lack of sleep and a bad habit of not getting good sleep can really have deleterious effects on the skin because when you sleep, your brain releases growth hormone and melatonin and that stimulates cellular renewal. It stimulates the fibroblasts, which are the collagen producing cells in your skin to make extracellular matrix proteins. It decreases cortisol levels, which reduces inflammation and breakouts. So sleep is very, very important. Also, like one night of bad sleep, research has shown, can increase premature aging and fine lines and wrinkles just by missing one night of good sleep. And there's also a component of um, telomeres. So telomeres are DNA caps that are on the ends of your chromosomes, and that's the true meaning of aging is the loss of the telomeres. And there's an enzyme called telomerase, and it's a reverse transcriptase enzyme. And for those of you who are not science background, it doesn't really matter, but what it does is it protects your telomeres and it gets secreted while you're sleeping. So when you're sleeping, your your skin's renewing itself, but the DNA in all of your body is like renewing yourself. So your neural system, your immune system, your musculoskeletal system, all the organ systems, cardiovascular. So it's really important not only for your skin, but for your whole body to have increased reverse transcriptase enzyme, which is telomerase, which helps with longevity and protecting your telomeres, which is like anti-aging for all organ systems. So your skin is no different. So it's really important to have good sleep hygiene and get into a rhythm and a pattern to ensure you at least six to nine hours of sleep of uninterrupted sleep a night. If you have an aura ring, that's even better. You can kind of track your sleep. And then for those of you who have a hard time like winding down or falling asleep or staying asleep, you know, get into like a routine. Like I use my Biomat by 
um, higher dose, which has a PEMF mat, and it really like helps calm me down. It's also good for like anti-inflammatory properties and um, you know lymphatics and just overall just like decreasing cortisol levels. So dim the lights, stay off your screen, drink some tea, you know, sleepy time or chamomile tea, listen to music, um, you know, do whatever you need to do, or even like a skincare routine. It's like kind of like part of your like nightly ritual self-care wind down. So sleep is so important for your skin health and something that people I think don't really like take advantage of in a day-to-day -day lifestyle habit. So lack of sleep and poor sleep hygiene will cause accelerated aging. So I can show you, um, I have this little like bell that helps with the vibration. There's a little like sound bowl. Sometimes I'll just do this kind of thing before bed. Um, there's a sage and I don't know, sometimes it's just like candles and incense and I always have some like sleepy time tea. So I'm a big fan of like chamomile tea and it just helps, it's like part of my like ritual. So your body gets um, used to having sleep hygiene and a ritual. So if you could try to go to bed at the same time every night and then just do something that like winds you down. I'm here on my, um, my PEMF mat by Higher Dose. I really love this PEMF mat. You can kind of um, set the PEMF, which helps um, stabilize your mitochondria. And it's heated and it's infrared. And it's just like amazing mat. It just literally like helps me like unwind and it helps me de-stress. And it just helps me just like relax and come down from like a really hectic, busy, high performance day. So after the kids go to sleep, Usually I'll take like a warm shower or like a bath and then come and like light my candles. And then Justin's usually watching basketball and I just come in here and I just like chill. And this is kind of like how my body like winds down. And doing this as a routine will help you sleep. And which is definitely one of the best things you can do for your skin as well. That's do you always look how perfect Stephanie's skin is. She literally has the Not most perfect even. skin. Are you it's so good. With you. No way. Do you wash your face before bed? Yes, I. If even if I go out and I have some drinks beforehand, if I fall asleep at like two in the morning, I will get up off the couch and I will go wash my face religiously. She is. She's I've so never diligent. missed a day. Eating clean, working out, in her skincare. Yeah. She's like no goals. No, literally, your goals. <laughs> Not serious. <laughs> See, AJ will tell you, AJ, how important is it to wash your face every night before you go to bed? Super important. Do you wash your face every night before you go to bed? Even when you're really, really tired? Yes. Even when you've been out all night? Yes. Even you wash off all your makeup? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, you guys, another habit that people have in their life that causes accelerated aging. Oh my God, look at my hair. I have surgery, hot hair. We just ended a surgical procedure, um, but it's smoking. So hopefully I don't have to tell you guys to not smoke and to not vape but please because vaping and smoking is the first way to accelerate rapid aging it breaks down your collagen fibers it breaks down your elastin fibers and is the quickest way to cause premature aging so don't smoke if you do try to quit don't vape if you do try to quit because that's the quickest way to denature your collagen fibers and to cause accelerated aging aging isn't as much about the procedures you've had or the products you use but the day-to-day -day lifestyle habits that you incorporate over a lifetime that can either support or sabotage your skin. So daily choices and the lifestyle that you choose has immense and profound effects on your skin long term. So which of these habits are you guilty of? What have you noticed change in your skin when changing these habits? Drop a comment in the comments below and share some information and also be a support system for one another to exchange ideas because this is a safe forum to discuss healthy skin habits that can have a profound impact on our skin and in a safe non-sponsored environment where we can support one another. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a comment in the comment section and share this video with someone who may find it useful. As always, I love you guys.